Is that with Mike? No. Bob? Mike? Uh, my character's name was Gordo. That was with James Sato producing. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, uh, Mike Anthony wasn't there. Okay. It was crazy. So fun. So sticky. Covered in blood so much. But we're yeah. right there. So I gotta be... 30 seconds! Love you, James. Justin. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just got it out. Now it's stuck again. <clears throat> the following program contains language and scenes of violence, which may be disturbing to some listeners. Listener discretion is advised. Live from CJSW Studio One in Calgary. You're traveling through a neighborhood, a neighborhood that appears like any other, with its rows of boxy, colorful houses and freshly cut lawns. A neighborhood where nothing much happens. And then you turn down one street where anything may happen. From the macabre to the otherworldly, there's a sign appearing in your headlights. The sign that reads... Tonight's episode, Roadkill, written by Jason Long, based on a story by Don Roth. Yeah, just going as far south as I can. Eventually want to get to South America. South America? Wow, what's in South America? I don't know. I guess I'll find out. Well, happy to get you down to the I-5 interchange. Then I'm afraid I'll have to leave you. Next stop is due east from there. Appreciate it either way. Gets me a couple hours closer to where I want to be. <sighs> God, beautiful day out. Gonna be a hot one. Sorry about the lack of air conditioning. These old wagons... Yeah, you don't see a lot of station wagons on the road anymore. I know, I know. Tease away. You must have kids or something. Two. Two girls. I inherited the car from my dad. Grudgingly at first, and, well, it fits our needs. Don't think my wife would let me sell it now if I tried. <laughs> We've all grown up and got attached to it. it sounds uh, kind of funny, but it's true. No, I get that. Importing meaning onto things from, like, particular times or places. That's it, exactly. Particular time and place. I met my future wife and, well, we're, we're pregnant, and not exactly by design. Within the first year and, well, I don't think my BMW convertible fit the mold of a family vehicle, so... <laughs> what? Well, we still have the BMW and kids are getting older now. Out of the car seat phase, so... How come I'm still riding around the country in this hunk of junk? Your wife's got you good. <laughs> <laughs> she did indeed. Be on the lookout off the highway interchange. A semi-track has jackknife containing about 600 cases of baby shampoo. So not only is traffic backed up, but the road is super slippery, albeit clean. So be careful those on foot or bikes. But remember, if you fall and get any in your eyes, the bottle does say no more tears. You're listening to KRMA Radio, broadcasting live from Darkside Drive here in my favorite place in the world, Mayfield Falls. By request, this one goes out to Sandy, everyone's favorite server down at the Fairweather Inn. She's single now, fellas. Hint, hint. Here's her favorite song by Celine. I didn't even ask your name. My apologies. Oh, it's Marla. Marla, hi. And you? Ted. Ted Stark. Nice to meet you. It's nice to have company on the road. I'm amazed people still hitchhike. You should be more careful, young lady. Yeah, that's my mom, all right. Trust me, I can take care of myself. You don't want to find that out, Ted Stark. Oh, I hear that. <laughs> <laughs> I try not to travel at night. You know, that's when the nut bars come out. Being on the road as much as I am, I can attest. What do you do? I guess you could say I'm in sales, but specialized sales on behalf of an engineering firm. Mostly I travel from oil refinery to oil refinery, and like a consistent monthly route, checking on our equipment and making sure, uh... What is it? It's so weird. Radio just said it's broadcasting from Mayfield Falls. So? I thought I was on... I shouldn't be anywhere near... 
Oh, man. What? My phone. My GPS is off. No wonder it was so quiet. Damn it. Look, I gotta... I need to grab my charger out of the briefcase. I have an old Rand McNally under the seat. If you could grab it. A what? <laughs> Sorry. Showing my age. A road map. Like, uh, like a book. Should be under there. I'll take a look, but... <laughs> I'm sorry, Claire. I'm sorry. But I have to get back on the road. Well, well, well. Good evening. Where can I... Oh, I am getting soaked out here, please. Oh, I'll just go anywhere. Okay, then. Oh. Sorry, that was a weird introduction. Hi. Shauna. Hi, Shauna. Ted. I'm making my way out to the coast, so I'll stay as long as you're going west, if that's okay. Not a problem. I hook north eventually, but in the meanwhile, dry off. Thanks. Oh, God, I probably look like death. There's a mirror on that shade. Uh, yep, you got it. Look at this hair. Good Lord. <laughs> How will I ever find a man? <laughs> what? Sorry, I just... In the light there, you look... Ha have we met before? I don't think so. I really think... I mean, I don't mean to pry, but... I have two cans of bear spray with the safety clips off in my purse. So, well, I just thought you should know that. You just look like someone is all. For a moment, I, I wasn't... Okay, then. That's... I mean, you're getting someone's car, and that's your... How do you say thank you? Hey, and... for all I know, you're a serial killer. Hey, for all I know, you're a serial killer. Huh. You like that? Yeah. You like that? Me making assumptions you that you just... You just watch the news, man? Women get killed out there every day. Not by me, they don't. Okay, Christ. I wasn't... I, I'm, you're right. I'm not dead yet. Thank you for being such a gentleman. You're welcome. Hmm. So what the heck were you doing on the side of this lonely stretch of road at midnight in the rain? You know the expression cold feet? Sure. Well, I got a case of cold feet so bad. Took over my whole body. You got a case of cold body? I got a case of cold body. Look at me soaking wet all over. Cold body. <laughs> so cold feet or body. I mean over... Oh, getting married. You decided not to get married tonight? Yeah, well, yeah, I decided just now, but the wedding's not for a while. Not like till 11 this morning, so... Your wedding is in what, 11 hours? Was. <laughs> yeah, that's a case of cold body, all right. Told ya. Hey, you want some gum? Sure. I love gum. Never got hooked on drugs, never smoked. Barely hit weed, but I got a gum addiction. I'm always chewing gum. Always? Always. Huh. What? Nothing. What is it? I don't want to weird you out. Oh, about the person I remind you of? Yes, but I'd rather not be called a serial killer. Oh, kid. God, okay. I said I'm sorry. Let's move on. What about her? She chewed gum. The girl I remind you of? Yes, all the time. Romantic type girl? Yes. Oh. It was years ago. High school. Relax. What's her name? Claire. Seriously? Yes. Why? That's my first name. It is? Yeah, I've been known as Claire my whole life. I hated it since day one, so I decided to change it. When did you change it? About 14 seconds before he picked me up. Shauna. Still getting used to it. Shauna. I like it. Big improvement on Claire, eh? I like Claire. Sure, but you got an association with Claire. A positive one. Like you slept with her, right? I, I don't... 
Yeah, look, I don't feel like yeah, disgusting. Ah, you slept with her, Teddy. It's written all over your face. Don't call me that. What? What you called me. I don't even remember. You called me Teddy. Don't. Please. Okay, I get it. You don't like the gum? Lost flavor in less than a minute. Rip off. Yeah, the gum industry is as corrupt as you can get. <sighs> you keep looking out at the time. Are you late? I don't. And no. Hmm. What are oh. you doing? Well, I'm just having a peek. Well, don't. I'm bored. You can't just... You're being rude. Well, you're being a pill. Excuse me? I called you Teddy, playfully, once. And you, like, lost your cool, and quite frankly, you were quite rude first, so I'm going to snoop in your glove box. I'm sorry for snapping at you. Oh, looky, looky. And put that back. Is this her? Is this Claire? None of your business. Whoa, you're way off. She doesn't look anything like me. She's a stone-cold fox. You think so? Oh, man, absolutely. Damn. You pulled her? High schooler, no, that's a score. We still together? No, we broke up. I got married, had two kids. I lost track of her. Not a happy marriage, I take it. That's, that's not true. Why would you say that? Because Claire is still in your glove box, Dad. Oh, oh no, I, I don't believe this. What? My phone died. I, I thought my GPS was too quiet for too long. Ah. Hmm. I have a charger in my briefcase. If you give me a sec. No problem. I uh, actually have a map under the seat, if you don't mind. Yeah, I gotta pee first. It's it's raining. Which makes me want to pee. Hang on. There's nothing out there. There's cheese good enough for me. Just don't leave. Claire is still in your glove box, Ted. Oh, she's so annoying. Really want to kill this one. Oh, it's taking so long. Damn it, now I have to pee. Not running into these woods, forget that. Now, where the hell is that bitch? Right. Behind. Oh, you're trying to give me a heart attack and kill me? What? Get back in. We're going to continue our ride, but I'm in charge now. Look, uh... I will put two in your crotch right now and watch you bleed out in the rain until you take your last breath. Get in the car. Make a U-turn. Make a U-turn. You want me to take you back to your wedding? You could just ask. You might have guessed this by now, but I am not the Marian type. Well, what type are you? I'm the type who takes down monsters like you before you can add another notch to your belt. If you get my drift. I, I don't know what you're talking about. What's in the briefcase, Teddy? Nothing. Business? Business. Yeah, open for business there, Teddy. Zip ties, wire, chloroform, a couple of knives in case things go off the rails. What's in the trunk? Shovels, big bags of lye, anchors to weigh down bodies you drop in the water. How many? How many are you killed? Teddy no longer has a gift of gab? Well, that's okay. We got plenty of time to talk. So what? You're gonna make me drive around, confess my... No, we're not far away. From where? From where I'm gonna finish our business. Thank you, by the way, for bringing shovels. Saves us a trip. <laughs> You first. I can't see anything. Take the flashlight. 
I'm already carrying two shovels. You don't manage. You're an expert at this. So this is what you do? Prey on men who have the audacity to offer you a ride? What, you're some kind of feminist vigilante? <laughs> I don't discriminate. Meaning? What, you've killed women too? If they were planning to kill me first, yeah. How do you know if... I got a real gift, Ted. I've had it my whole life, but I never acted on it until recently. See, I can tell. I got in your car and I knew. I knew what you were about. And I knew it was going to be me or you dead by morning, so <laughs> I got the drop on you. <laughs> Map under the car. Jesus, how many of you hook with that line? Oh, my phone is dead. GPS blah blah roads are so complicated. Where am I? You clearly haven't been doing this long. You're wrong. And tell me a tale, huh? There's a number. Double digits? Oh, come on, man. The jig is up. You took your last life. Why not go out on a high note? Tell me about your best. Your most memorable. Tell me about your most recent. Who'd you pick up before me? Any ever get away on you? Any you regret? Stop asking questions. Regret, eh? Touchy subject. Let's see if you've been at this a while. Then you're pretty cold about it now, right? It's just work. Something you do. You don't get emotional. Don't get invested. So one of the earlier ones. Maybe even... Oh, it's so last year, but... You're first. Get that light out of my face. I'm done walking. Go on, do it. Put one right in my brain. I think you're all talk. Oh, it's okay. We're here. Where? The place where you'll find out if I'm all talk or not. Shine that light around. Have a look. Now, it's dark, sure, but if you run the light around the edge of those trees, they're almost framing one, two, three. You see? I see. I see what looks to be a lot of shallow graves. Some. Some are deeper than others. Some I ran out of patience with. Some are horrible diggers. Oh, did I mention you're digging your own grave, Ted? But some, I mean, some just committed. Like they almost didn't want to be found. One guy took the better part of a day. He dug so deep, he didn't even, couldn't even crawl back up on his own. <laughs> I thought about not shooting him, you know. Just leave him down there alive. No way to get out. No one to hear him. Just dive, exposure, or hunger, or... Oh, but I'm not an animal. I put six in him, then reloaded another six. I don't take chances. Start digging, Ted. Got a nice spot right here. Right next to the convicted pedo from Massachusetts. No, wait. No, that's done. What if we work together? Huh? We work together. We, we work the highways together. Like a team. Yeah, like a team. I hate being on a team. But hear me out. We are not on the same team. You're a predator, man. I'm writing some wrongs. It's hunting season for me. I'm not taking innocents off the side of the road and squeezing the air right out of them. So every man you've ever killed, you knew for sure he was a killer. Damn right. Because you have some gift. Exactly. Huh, that's insane. I was right about you. Maybe you got lucky. A broken clock. Oh, is... shut the hell up about a broken clock working twice a day. I waited for you. You came to me. I opened that door and I knew. I didn't need to look in your briefcase. I looked in your eyes. It was the same look I saw when I was 16 and hitchhiking up north. This meathead trucker takes me back in his cab. I'm too scared to say nothing and he has his way with me. And I can still smell him, feel his fat all around him. Only reason I'm still alive is while he was trying to pull his pants back on, I stomped on his nuts and ran like hell. And that was the last time. It took me years, but eventually I had to get back out on that road. I hope I find that sloth someday. I really do. I think he's still out there. You? You think he's still out there? Dig. Can I ask you something? Sure, keep digging. Your first name really, Claire? No, that was all part of the act. Wedding, cold feet, pretty good, huh? You bought it all? Well, you do look like her, though, Claire. The one true love of your life that got away. Yeah. 
Met her in the sixth grade. You believe that? I loved her then. Kind of creepy, Ted. No, it wasn't. It wasn't at all. We were at the same age. Uh, same school from kindergarten all the way to high school. She was my best friend. We told each other everything. I mean, everything. You ever write notes in class? Yeah, sure, I wrote notes. By the time I got to our senior year, I bet I had hundreds. Maybe even thousands of notes from her. I kept them. I kept them all. Every last one. Some of them got, you know, kind of racy. Oh, like... Ted, if you want to hold my hand, check this box and pass it back. At first, yeah, it was like that, innocent. Huh. But her family were religious. And mine were very religious, especially my mother. I'm scared of her to this day. Huh. Serial killer with mother issues. Ain't that original. <laughs> Came home one day and she found all the notes from Claire. And she read them. She read them all. God, she was so mad. It made me throw them out. It made me promise to never speak to her again. And how old were you? Seventeen. So I did. I burned the notes and I stopped talking to Claire. What? You were 17, man. Practically an adult. Why didn't you stand up to her? I don't know. I couldn't. She had a hold on... She was half my size, but I was terrified of her. But I, I was angry, so angry. And at the same time, I wanted to oh kill... Oh, my her. God. She was your first. You killed your mother, didn't you? Norman Bates? No. It was Claire. She was my first. Hang on, stop. I said stop. What? Why'd you kill her? You said you loved her. It's complicated. Well, try and uncomplicate it for me. What's it matter? Stop digging. I deserve this. I said stop digging. I'm glad this happened. The time has come. Tell me why you killed her. Because it, it was over. My mother would never allow us. It could never happen. We dated in secret for two years. Two years. Never had her to my house. Could, could never go to her house. Her religion hates my religion. I mean, it was never going to happen. I broke it off. I told Claire we couldn't see each other anymore, but she just kept pushing. She even came to my... I mean, I'm taking swings off the tee all by myself out in this empty field behind my house. Practicing for the baseball team, right? Mm. Kept trying to, to hide from her, but she found me. She found me and cornered me and demanded to know why I broke up with her. And finally, I said it was my mom. What'd she say? She said the same thing you did. Got in my face. You're almost an adult. Man up. Choose me over her. And she starts calling my mother names. And I just... I... Oh. <laughs> oh. Like that, but with a baseball bat. Oh. <coughs> you son of a... Oh. Oh. Stay down. Oh. 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 Never used a gun in my entire life. Seems oh. like a coward's way out. You okay oh. there, Shauna? Got some cobwebs to shake out? Oh, oh. oh what's that? I can't hear you. I have a gun in my hand. Gonna kill you, you. Oh, that'll uh, be a nice uh, trick. Dig. I have blood pouring down my face. Wipe with your shirt and get to digging. I've got to get back to my you work. You broke my kneecap. Not if you were able to stand, I didn't. Oh. Dig. Killed your love because she insulted your possessive mother? Oh, that's sad. All part of the act. Everyone's a sucker for a good heartbreak story. You bought it. No. I believe it. I believe that's the way it went down. I don't care what you think. Dig. Uh, you do realize what you're doing, don't you? You're so guilt-ridden over killing Claire that you just... In some weird way, you want to take it back. That makes no sense. I kill for justice. Others kill for the high, for sex, for power. You're sad about it. You don't know anything. That's why your picture is still in your glove compartment? Yes. I killed her, and I wish I didn't. But I was probably already on the path, you know? Something has to be wrong with me. It's not about justice or sex or power or because I'm sad. It's because I really, really like it. And I'm good at it. I wish I wasn't that way, but here we are. And you do look like her. Like Claire. You miss her. Shut up. Of course I do. I could be her. 
What? It started with her. Maybe this can all end with her. You want me to pretend you're Claire? Yes. Why? Because you miss her. You miss me, Ted. But I'm here now. Shut up. I know you didn't mean it. I'm sorry I insulted your mother. This isn't going to work. I'm not going to let you go. I don't want you to let me go. I want you to touch me. Get back to digging. I want you to put your hands on my throat. Your hands. I've missed your hands. Shauna. Claire, feel my face. Look at me. I look like her, don't I? Yes. So I'm here now, Ted. What do you want to do with me? Ted? Teddy? Look at me. What do you want to say to me? Put your hands on my throat. Look at me. I am. Remember that day? In the field? Yes. You carried this for so long? Yes. You're not sorry, are you? No. You want that feeling again, don't you? Yes. You've been chasing that feeling. Yes. Squeeze, Teddy, squeeze. Oh! Kill me again. Yes! Hi, I'm, I'm heading down to Shepherd. You? Cool, thanks. Appreciate the ride. Don't see many station wagons anymore. Hitchhiking is a really stupid idea. For all you know, I could be picking you up just so I could kill you. Oh. Are you? Of course not. I'm not an animal. The guy whose car this used to be, though, he would have killed you. If he picked you up, you'd probably be dead by now. Oh. Okay. So where is he? Oh, I took care of him. He's gone now. One less predator on the roads, but seriously, don't be stupid. No more hitchhiking after today, promise? Yeah, okay. Maybe I should get out here. Hmm. Before you get out, my GPS isn't working. There's a map under your seat. Could you grab it for me? Uh, okay. You have just heard Roadkill here on Darkside Drive. Ted Stark was played by James Noonan, Shauna by Deborah Ferguson, and Marla by Andrea Montgomery. Dark Side Drive is produced by Justin Guild. Our production manager is Sarah Rowe. Story editing by Jordan Simpson and Stephanie Chappett. Roadkill was written by Jason Long, based on a story by Don Roth. You Ain't Goin' Nowhere was written by Bob Dylan and performed by David Mumford. Our theme music, Twisted Calliope, was composed and performed by the Lotards. Like and share us on Facebook, subscribe, rate, and review us on iTunes, or visit us at www.darksidedrive.com for upcoming episode previews and episode guides. Darkside Drive is funded through a generous grant from the Alberta Foundation for the Arts. Stuart Bentley announcing. Until next time. <laughs> Good night. Darkside Drive is a co-production of CJSW, 90.9 FM, and the Calgary Radio Playhouse. Don't let him in. <laughs> God damn it! God damn it! <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, well, that was pretty that, good. That, that was super good. You guys sounded guys, fantastic. That was so that was pretty really pretty. nice. We did it. I, that was so damn good. That was pretty damn good. Yeah. Totally. Judging by the rehearsals, like I mean, we we gone through rehearsals, but there was. Um, yeah, there were a few moments there where I was like, so yeah, I, there was no. This is good. <laughs> yeah. That's oh. good. Yes, that's, yeah, I guess that's, that's good. good. Okay. Yeah, no. <laughs>